The federal government releasing new regulations today to ensure the development and testing of autonomous vehicles is done safely. These robot cars could, of course, theoretically reduce crashes, reduce highway deaths, but there's been growing anxiety that the road to their development could be paved with a lot of danger. Well, let's bring in Guy Gordon. He joins us now live with the effort to find a balance. Guy? And it's, that's all what it's about, Carmen, finding the balance, making sure that we accelerate ourselves into a future where we reduce those traffic deaths, uh, but also make sure that the bugs are out of these vehicles before we hit the road. Now, we're in the Ann Arbor area, home to the two of the big testing facilities for this. From the get-go, both researchers and automakers have been saying, to the uncle, to Uncle Sam, give us the rules, give us the standards that we need to meet. Well, today they took a first major step in that direction, but some still have major reservations. And this is why a private citizen dies while beta testing the Tesla autopilot system. The new guidance seeks to ensure bugs are discovered before these vehicles hit the road. The new guidance sets a 15-point safety assessment system with automakers providing information on validation and testing, technical specs, and methods to prevent hacking. It proposes mandatory certification from NHTSA before automakers can introduce driverless vehicles. It is a first of its kind taking us from the horseless carriage to the driverless car. NHTSA will also immediately assess vehicles available now with semi-autonomous features like this Mercedes. There's some really good news in here for the industry. NHTSA might provide some exemption from existing standards. We're not all that confident. While encouraged, many safety advocates worry about federal oversight. Concerned average motorists will be, quote, human guinea pigs if automakers fail to voluntarily share information with Uncle Sam. The manufacturers of uh, autonomous vehicles as systems have to be uh, transparent about what's going on, what their testing is doing, and what their experience is. Our concern is that in the past that hasn't happened. And Consumer Reports went even further today saying this is all bark, no bite, that we don't need guidelines, we need strict standards. But supporters of this process say uh, this is the beginning of the process, that the rulemaking will come along with the stricter standards once they begin to write these things. They also were very encouraged by the fact that there is a lot of collaboration built in uh, to this system as well, and that's good for places like the University of Michigan that is very deeply into the research for the autonomous future. From Ann Arbor, I'm Guy Gordon, Local 4. Back to you.